season this two pounds of uh, ground beef up. You go with this lorry seasoning, right? Lorry seasoning. We want to put that garlic lorries up in there too, guys. Right? So guys, this is what I do here on mine. I add a little, I know it's onion going in here, but I add a little onion powder, just a lightly fluff, you know, lightly little piece. I have to break my fresh garlic out and put in my meat, you know, okay? Too many people do that the way I done it, but that's how it's getting done right here on Dad's kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Get on. So that's that. Now I want you guys to get a little teeny Tony right Creole for the spices, and I want you guys to just add that. Go add it all around, guys. Okay. Now, that's all that, right? I'm gonna grab an egg for y'all. Keep in mind, we are making a honey glaze over this um, meatloaf. I'm gonna let you guys see this. Right here on my cutting board, I'm just massaging all this good old, good old vegetables and seasonings that I have in here. Okay? See? Now, this is what you do. That's that, right? That's all that. So, you want to take what you want to do, guys. Get over here. Design. You want to take meatloaf out. See that? That nice brown meatloaf right there. I just crumble up these crackers fine as you can after you season it up, right? You want to crumble these up fine as you can. Some people do breadcrumbs. I don't. I use crackers. I like, I like the uh, saltine crackers. Better taste to me and I think it holds it better. To, I holds it. It holds it better to me too. So you guys will see in a minute when it's all done. But I'm gonna mix this all up in here while that corn over there doing this thing. Y'all with me? Now y'all can form this how y'all want. Like I said, you want to make a a, 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 a super uh, Titanic ship out of here? Make one. You want to make a. a, a you want to make uh, goofy? Make one. That's a meatloaf for you. And what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to take a little bitty Tony's and I'm going to sprinkle over it. Alright? Follow Dad's directions if you want it burn. Just telling you, baby. So, but right now we're going with an old school bomb meatloaf that we finna drop right here in this dish. Ooh, it's gonna be a chunky, but we gonna have to deal with it, baby. It's gonna be a chunky. It's gonna have to be a chunky. Just like that. Yep. Okay, corn over there cooking. Get over here! Corn over here cooking, guys. Oh, yeah. 
You want that corn to fry, guys, right? And then I'm gonna show y'all the next step on that. To that uh smothered, you know, here, right? We're going in with the brown sugar. This is the glaze, guys. Pay attention for you won't miss this. You wanna put that that ketchup, that uh, brown sugar in that glaze, right? We're gonna put that in there. Come on. Now, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna do a little set up here. I ain't I don't even wanna use none of them. I'm gonna put that in there. What you wanna do is you wanna just put that in there. What you wanna do is you wanna just chop them little ones up to be chopped. I'm Denise Chop. You know how you brown sugar, some of the uh, sugar don't be grated real good. So, so all you gotta do, stir it up. Just keep stirring. Chop, 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 stir. Don't take nothing but a second, guys. Nothing but a second. And when you, when you do it, believe me, you're gonna wanna agree with me on the taste once you taste this and you see how blade how uh it uh coated it on so watch bear with me bear with me watch a minute watch a minute you know swamp off whooping them eagles that's a good thing swamp off whooping them eagles though swamp boy fried corn baby Glaze, my glaze. I showed them my glaze from my, from my uh, meatloaf that's going in there. Just about done cooking with all that good butter. Mm -hmm. Smell it, smell it, smell it. Mm -hmm. Now what you want to do there, guys, is you want to start adding your seasonings. Lari's. Okay, garlic. Okay, lemon pepper on this one. Okay, you want to go lemon pepper on this one? I don't care what people say. I want you to go lemon pepper on that, and I want you to also go. A little black pepper, okay? And one more thing, a little bit of onion powder. A little bit of onion powder, not much, but a little bit. Not much, guys. Bam, like that. All right? And then, uh, I got one more thing that I was thinking about dumping up in that gray, that gray. Since we, uh, you know, let's, let's, let's just go. Get over here. We're going to do a little taster on our glaze that we made for our um, meatloaf just coming out in 45 hours so I can bake it and put it back in the oven for it can bake on for another 15, 20 minutes. Anyway, let's check the sauce out. You know what? No lie, guys. No lies. Guess what I need to put up in there? Y'all gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm not. Guess what? I, guess what I need to put up in there, guys? Guess. I'm waiting. I already put the brown sugar. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Some sriracha hot sauce to kick it off. And I got some somewhere. Uh -oh. Where is that sriracha? Got, I found it. Shh. 
They'll never know, guys. They'll never know. I'm not gonna put too much sriracha Heinz hot sauce. Going in, guys. Going in. Not too much. Bam, see that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Get over here. All right, guys. We back. And um, I'm finishing up my uh, southern corn. And, guys, I'm sorry. I got threw off. I had to go somewhere. I'm back. I, I got threw off. I dropped up. What I want you guys to do, right, or you can get the fresh corn and you can cut it off yourself. But it's better to just go get... The corn already in the bag, frozen. And uh, get you some butter. Fry that frozen corn in that till it cooks down. Season it up. And then, uh, you know, you wanna move the corn out of the pot and uh, fry about three, four strips of bacon. And, uh, you probably don't want to cook them like well done, like too crispy, but just done. Not too crispy, but just done. Okay? So, this is how you how you're gonna want your southern corn to look, guys. Alright? So you're gonna want your this is how you guys are gonna want your southern corn to look, guys. Okay? Now, I want y'all to look at this meatloaf. See how nice and big that meatloaf is? It's a chunky, right? Nice, round, beautiful, chunky meatloaf. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna keep glazing this on. To, you know, you, you wanna glaze it, keep glazing it until you see none of the meat or the bell pepper. You wanna, so basically, you wanna just put it all the way around on thick, guys. And if it runs off, that's good, because it's hitting the sides, right? So once this is glazed all up, guys, what I want y'all to do, I want y'all to pop this bad baby back in this oven right here. And uh, I ain't gonna even call it sauce. I'm gonna say that uh, magic dad's way, bomb way, seared sauce, baby. That sauce gonna be baked on there. That's gonna be some bomb baked sauce on the best homemade, homemade meatloaf that you guys ain't ever had in your life until you came to Dad's Kitchen. Well, guys, there you have it, guys. There you have it. You'll see the final results. You guys know how I do it. Soon this stuff is done and ready. The uh, meatloaf's finished. I'm gonna give you guys the final results and show y'all how we got out right here in Dad's Kitchen. So now y'all yeah, check this out. This that Southern Fry. This that Southern Fry corn that a lot of people don't know about. Man, it got bacon in it, some good old spices and seasonings that came up out of Dad Walla cabinet. You know what I'm saying? If you want the ingredients of this, all you gotta do is rewind it, man. And uh, it's gonna show you step by step like we do here on Dad's Kitchen. We got the mashed potatoes. We got some gravy getting ready to be ready. Um, ooh, look at that meatloaf. Uh, 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 uh. Let me take that thing out. And uh, guys, I'm about to show y'all right now. So stay tuned because it's going down right here in Dad's Kitchen. I'm about to show y'all what we working with. Y'all know how we do it. Hey. Oh my God. Well guys, only thing we waiting on, I'm about to boil some potatoes and uh, make these mashed potatoes. And I'm gonna show y'all the finished results when I'm done with this. All right? Ain't nothing to it, uh, to it. that's done. So we can just turn this down all the way on low. So yeah, guys, we got the mashed gravy going. We got the uh, smothered fried corn. 
with the bell pepper, the red bell pepper and that bacon fried in that grease, that bacon grease with that butter. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that glaze. Look at the glaze on top of that meatloaf, guys. I got to back up. I just got to show y'all, like, I'm trying to figure out who, who does it better than me, though. I'm just trying to figure out. Can you hand me a knife, please? I got to cut them a piece of this before they won't be thinking I'm playing. I'm about to cut y'all a piece. Come hold this camera while I cut this piece. I'm cutting it right there. Right there. You see that? Y'all with me, guys? Ain't no breaking up when I cut my meatloaf. It's like, it just cuts perfect. You wanna show them that? Hold on, hold on. Look, come, come, come right here. Oh my goodness, look at that, guys. Look at that, perfectly well moist cooked meatloaf going down right here in dad's kitchen guys if you're new here like subscribe comment down <laughs> below and uh we got a couple of uh, sick birds over there coughing in my kitchen they shouldn't even be over here say what's up to the vlog baby no say what's up it's too late yeah anyway yeah so i just prepared this uh little meatloaf dinner that they wanted so we about to grab in and um, we'll get back to y'all on the next one tomorrow. I'm gonna be doing a um, showing you guys how to clean the crab and maybe do a uh, you know sit down with you guys and conversate with you guys for a while while I grab on my crab and some fresh hot butter. All right, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna do it like that. 220. Keep God first. Stay prayed up. And let's go for a better year in life. <coughs> Alright? Deuces, YouTube. Hope y'all enjoyed. Hit the like button.